guys, it's Lena Blake from Refine Horizons, and this is a Field Survey Friday video. I don't, I don't usually dress up for my Field Survey Friday videos, but this week you guys get a special treat. So, what do I want to answer? What do I want to talk about in this uh, Field Survey Friday video? I want to answer this question, when, as a survey organization, do you need to consider a full-time Field Survey Coordinator? So what is a field survey coordinator? That is actually a role that I designed when I worked at Odell Engineering. And uh, I was getting run pretty ragged there, um, running the mapping department. And uh, I, was, I was stretched thin, and so I was trying to figure out how I could uh, you know, take portions of my job description or my role and kind of carve those out and uh, delegate those to other qualified people. Uh, just to kind of lighten some of the some of the load on me, and so the the field coordinator is one of the one of the roles that that I designed there um, with the help of my boss at uh, at Odell Engineering, and it's a position that I've I've implemented at other organizations that works well, and, and I, I didn't invent it. <laughs> I'm, I know there's other organizations that have a very similar role to a field survey coordinator, um, and I think it's for large organizations, it's it's a it's a really important role. So what I want to talk about is uh, what what does a field survey coordinator do, and what are some signs that you might need one. <laughs> I'm going to talk about some specific things that might indicate that your organization is big enough now that that you need a field survey coordinator. So let's start with that first question: What does a, a field survey coordinator do? So the field survey coordinator basically manages your field work. And he manages your field crews. And so he does a few different things in that role. Uh, he schedules the crews, so he maintains a field schedule. Uh, he manages uh, field crew resources, so that could be uh, trucks, equipment, the actual men that do the work. He uh, prepares and reviews field packages, and I talk about field packages in some other videos. He supervises the execution of field surveys, so he makes sure that the field crews are following the instructions from the licensed surveyor who's in responsible charge of the work. Uh, he might manage the download process. He could either personally do the downloads or make sure the crews are doing the, da the daily downloads. Um, it, in a lot of cases, the field crew coordinator will run your safety program. It's a really important role for larger operations, and every surveying company should have some kind of safety program. So your field crew coordinator can manage that. That includes doing the daily safety meetings, evaluating road safety and other hazards on each job, uh, you know, uh, coordinating and scheduling uh, first aid CPR training, uh, fall prevention training, uh, those, the you know confined space training, the other kinds of training we sometimes need to get as surveyors. Uh, they they uh, may also handle the review of raw data and maintain field drawings. That could be your office other office staff, uh, but in some cases that's a good fit for the field coordinator. Um, and so the the field coordinator can handle all of that, um, and that's a big job. That's a you need, a, you, need, you need a good woman or a good man for this, for this spot. It's a really critical role for bigger survey organizations. So if you don't have a field survey coordinator, how do you know if you need one? Uh, so I'm going to give you um, four signs that you might need a, a, a field survey coordinator. So one is if you're constantly having conflicts over the field schedule. So if you have project managers or project surveyors, that are squabbling over who gets what crew and when, that's a sign that you might need to centralize that scheduling role. Uh, if you're having conflicts um, among the same group of people over resources, so that could be not just the men on the crew, but the truck, certain types of equipment, uh, you know, boats, four-wheelers, scanners, whatever. It might be shared resources at your organization. If there's conflicts about that, that could be a sign that you need to centralize that role, that you need a field survey coordinator. Uh, if you just have are getting sloppy execution on your field surveys, it could be that your your field crews aren't getting uh, enough assistance and supervision, and they might need somebody dedicated to that role. And uh, if if you're getting you know you, your your team isn't managing their raw data, they're not reviewing the raw data, they're not doing a good job on their field notes. All of those things are a sign potentially that you could use somebody in a field survey coordinator role. And oftentimes what, what happens um, at, at survey organizations as they grow is, um, you know, they, you typically run on this model where each land surveyor is kind of running his own crews. And eventually what happens is uh, you, resources get tight and those individual surveyors start to fight with one another over those resources or 
you got one surveyor who's trying to do that job and do all the other jobs, resolve the boundaries, do the billing, uh, get new work, uh, you know, develop standards, whatever it is, manage the office staff. And he just, he or she gets spread too thin. And so you have to carve up that role. And so what you can often do, oftentimes do is take one of your more experienced uh, party chiefs, survey party chiefs, and you can promote them with a raise, promote them to that role, that office role. You know, even if their computer skills are a little, little rough, you can usually work with them, you know, but take some time, might take a year or two, but you can, you can groom them for that role and, and they can start to manage the crews for you. I really do think it's important that the, the field survey coordinator have some extensive field experience. Um, it's going to be easier for your field crews to respect that person and uh, they're going to do a better job because they understand the challenges. Sometimes office folks, folks in the office don't always understand what it's like to do in the field. They're not sympathetic to those challenges. So it helps to have somebody in a field survey coordinator role that has some field experience. But even in a pinch, you could take a, a good administrative person or a person that was well organized and you could put them in that role. I just, you know, I would point out if you're going to do that, um, you have to make sure that that person, if they don't have field experience, really gets your backup as a manager or a leader. So those those field crews know to take them serious uh, so you can make that work. But, you know, a big sign, uh, you know, the two the two big things are if you've got project surveyors fighting over field resources. Or you, you've got your LS trying to do too much, um, then it might be time to introduce a field survey coordinator to your organization. So and, it, and I may talk some more. Uh, on some of these videos about that role. But there you go. That's what a field survey coordinator is. That's how you know if you need one. That is your Field Survey Friday video for this uh, Friday in September. Thanks for watching, guys. And I hope I catch you on the, uh, the next Field Survey Friday video.